us as a society to recognize and respect each other's differences. We can learn a lot from each other if we're willing to listen. So this morning, we're going to talk about what it means to be non-binary. You know, just what was it was a few weeks ago, Demi Lovato asked that people use the pronouns they, them, because they are non-binary and feel equal parts masculine and feminine. So celebrities are often held up as, you know, examples. But there is a good chance someone in your social circle, somebody you know, is non-binary. Someone who now identifies as non-binary is one of our former interns, Milan Garçon. And if that name sounds familiar to you, <laughs> well, it's because you may recognize her from Legendary on HBO Max. That's right. Look at that, those moves. Hey, Milan. <laughs> Hello, Milan Garçon. Good to see you this morning. It's so good to see you. How are you? <laughs> good. We, we are doing well. Gosh, I haven't seen you since the internship. Right? In it's person. been years. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so you are here because we want you to share your journey so far as a non-binary advocate, model, a media personality. You're doing so much. Um, so let's start with the beginning of your journey. Well, you know, I'm born and raised in Cleveland, Ohio. Mm -hmm. And I moved from the Midwest to the East Coast when I went to college out in Lincoln University of Pennsylvania. And that is where I met you dope people. <laughs> and um, <laughs> yep. I interned two times with Fox 29. The first one was with Good Day and the second time was with The Q Show. And honestly, it wasn't until I was in college that I started to explore my gender and explore what gender presentation meant and started to really find people that were like me. And I was starting to come to work at the internship. As you all can remember, I would wear like a lash and I would wear makeup. Right. And I wanted I would tips. Like, <laughs> you know, no, but Alex, I remember we would always like talk like lash tips. Like we mm -hmm. both love lashes so much. So it was, it was really, and I tell everyone this, it was really my experience working at Fox 29 that made me know and comfortable with being myself and knowing that I can be authentically and unapologetically myself and present as non-binary before it was the thing to do. And you all made me safe. It made me feel like there's a place in media, there's a place in my industry for success for me. So I thank you all so much. You know what, maybe <laughs> before we go any further down the road here, can, can you explain what non-binary means? Yes, let's talk about it. So uh, being non-binary means that you are not on one end or the other when it comes to the gender spectrum. So I like to think about it like a shower faucet. You know, you have hot, you have cold, you have everything in between. You know, you have some people like really hot showers, some people like really cold showers, <laughs> some people, you know, yep. it depends on the day. Right. So when you're non-binary or gender non-conforming, you're somewhere in between on that spectrum. And depending on the individual, it can be different depending on how they feel every day, or it could just be that's them, they're not male or female, that's not how they identify. Like me, for example, I'm femme of center, meaning I'm not binary, I don't really identify as a male or female, but I am always feminine, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So no matter where I'm at, or no matter what you see me presenting as, just know, I am femme of center. So um, that's like an easy way to explain it, you know? That's not, yeah, okay. I like that. And I like that you say, because when we've talked to you, you say, whatever you're getting is what I'm giving, and you should take it as that, right? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> um, so for people who want to learn and maybe they're not familiar and they're getting used to the fact that people are expressing themselves and there's been a lot of talk about pronouns, how would you, what advice would you give to someone if they want to be respectful and they want to, you know, take whatever you're giving, how would they address you? What would you suggest to help with that? So when you are looking to be respectful mm -hmm. or you just would like to refer to someone as their uh, pronouns first, Nothing is preferred, okay? It's not my preferred identity, not my preferred name, not my preferred pronouns. It just is what it is, baby. So when you are introducing yourself, when you want to know someone's pronouns, the easiest way to do it is to give them yours. So, hi, I'm Milan Garçon. My pronouns are they and she. And then you wait for the person to tell you theirs. Or if that's not how you want to do it, you just want to say, hey, I would like to be respectful. What are your pronouns? It's mm -hmm. so easy. Don't make it a big deal. And if you mess up and you say you use the wrong pronoun don't like make a big deal apologize all yeah. day for it just correct yourself and move on as long as you are showing that you're being respectful most people will not take offense but it's when you just are oblivious and ignorant to the entire world it's like come on girl it's 2021 so, Milan, <laughs> when, when you interned here you made us all think well you want to be in media or something what is the goal right now Right now, it's still my old talk show, Mike. Okay, <laughs> okay. We see it. Kevin changed. 
<laughs> well, you have a podcast, right? Yes, so I'm so excited. I have a podcast that drops actually tomorrow, June 15th. It is going, it's, it's actually called In the Mix with Milan Garcon. We're going to be talking about pop culture. I'm going to be talking to tastemakers, trailblazers and, that are in the queer community that are like killing it in their respective energy, uh, it, energies, industries, but they have amazing energies. And so is the show. It's a good vibe. It drops tomorrow. Um, it drops exclusively on Jack. It's a podcast by Jack, mm. and it is going to be available on all streaming platforms. Wherever you listen to your words, you're going to be able to find <laughs> me, and that will be available weekly on June 22nd. So, the moment we the met mix, you as an intern, yes. you, you, you've had star written all over mm -hmm. you, and you're star. well on your way. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes. I'm so happy to be here, like talking with you all. It's like a <laughs> full circle moment. It's like, what? Is, well, isn't it really? Yes. Yeah. And next time we'll have to be in person. That's we right. would I love can't. that. <laughs> I bet your parents are so proud. I mean, legendary, your own podcast. Right. I mean, a campaign with Sephora. How proud are they? They are like so they're they're going crazy. So I really I had to convince my parents because here's the funny part. When I was interning at Fox, I will always have like my mom and dad in my ear because they're protective. They they're down for it all. My dad, he loves the makeup. My mother, she she's like, oh my God, Milan is prettier than me. I'm like, girl, stop. But um <laughs> when I was in college and I was first exploring with my gender presentation, working at Fox, they were like so worried that you all were like not gonna, you know, every intern wants to get hired, but that there wouldn't be nope. opportunities there for me. Yeah. Um after and I would always like be in my head like my mm. parents are given like oh you may want to tone it down a little bit here and there mind you at Fox on newsroom everybody's like oh we love it and they keep doing it that's your niche that's how you're gonna find your success through being yourself and I truly 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 owe it to you all I don't know where I would be without Fox 29 I swear continued success continue to rise we'll thank be cheering you. you on awesome thank you I love the support <laughs> success yes good uh, to see you we'll take a break